Salutations everyone, this is Razor with part 5 of balances I would like to see from Smash 4 to Smash 5. Let's continue on with Captain Falcon. I think Falcon is pretty close to being in a great spot. I want grounded spikes to be unteckable in Smash 5, which would give him more options with his dare and his up tilt, mix ups in his neutral and his approaching game, uh, as well as combo follow ups to damage or kill depending on the percent. I know that Falcon Kick really has no use. Raptor Boost is faster and kills sooner. Falcon Kick is super punishable and doesn't really have a use in the air. It's the easiest thing to read and punish as a landing option. So I propose to make it useful, possibly make it faster, deal less damage and have like more horizontal knockback than vertical. So there's possible follow up. So it's no longer a kill move, but helps you rack up some damage and just another move that you have to watch out for since Raptor Boost is kind of better at doing the job that Falcon Kick has right now. Otherwise, it's pretty good. Villager. Villager is also in a pretty good spot where he is being the character that he is with the kit that he has. Obviously, we'd like for his or her grab to be faster with its fastest being at frame 15, which is super slow, especially since he, she... Uh, gets no reward for throwing outside of getting him off stage or at the ledge. And as always, make the spike three frames, not two. Olimar, also in a decent spot. Nothing really needs to change. Maybe make yellow Pikmin a little bit better. Its niche of having the most hits done just doesn't feel like it fits. I mean, white has the damage, purple has the knockback and the active hitbox, blue has the kill throw on the up throw, red is decent at everything with its damage and knockback, while yellow doesn't really measure up to the utility that the others have. You never be like, oh man, I really want a yellow in my lineup. I'd, I'd rather take the damage or knockback of red or purple after down throw than the hit stun of yellow. So maybe make it stun more or hey how about this uh give it more shield damage that could be neat gives gives him a little bit of an option in the shield game we fit trainer okay look i can't pretend to be a we fit trainer expert and who can unless you're named john numbers or anti but hey people must not use her for a reason right i mean she's not bad but she's gotta be the least used character for some reason outside of the fact that not many Big hardcore fighting game people are big, you know, Wii Fit fans, because those are games. Um, there's not a ton of info on her either. Hell, I just I just searched Wii Fit Trainer Guide on YouTube, and my video was the first one that came up, at least for me. That can't be a very good sign, yeah? And all the best Wii Fit Trainers don't travel to tournaments very much. She had, you know, John Numbers uh, didn't travel very much. Anti, super inconsistent. There was a long spades where he didn't travel and mostly played Mario and like 12 other characters. And we even had a, a Wii Fit from SoCal who went to Evo, took to Buzz to Game 3, and he never traveled. So we don't really, we never really got to see what she did very much, to be fair. She did get a lot of buffs that made her more useful, made her able to grab people that were crouched and uh, better with her aerials and that. She's got three moves that spike. That's kind of cool. A lot of gimping tools and is kind of untouchable at the ledge with that side special. Her dare spike is the second best spike in the game behind Falcons because hers is four frames slower and only spikes for the first two frames instead of three. So obviously make it a three frame. She's kind of the, the, the spike queen of the game with so many different kind of spikes, but that one's obviously the one that you're going to be going for. Otherwise, she's got really weird moves, and it's quite the investment. So, sorry to be Forrest Gump here, but that's all I have to say about that. Shulk. So, Shulk is also weird, no doubt about that. The Monado arts are unique and fun to play with, and aren't, like, unbalanced in any way. But it might just be, like, the rest of his kit that needs tuning. He needs less landing lag on his aerials, more so than I think anybody does. Yes, I know Monado art canceling helps, but he deserves something more consistent and easy to do. His boxing game isn't bad, but doesn't get much off of throws, so let's fix that with some sort of follow-up. And landing a backslash I feel like should be more rewarding, whether it's you know hitting them in the back with it or just regularly. Have it, do, have it be safe against shield or even more knockback once you do get them in the back with it because that's not going to happen very often and it's kind of a big commitment, super easy to avoid. And anyway, he's not that great at killing. Uh, you know, the go-to 
uh, for me at least, is Smash Monado up tilt, you know, when, when you have a, a pretty good percents. But, uh, you know, dare spikes are only two frames, so change that. Up air is strong, but not that easy to hit as the second hit is the one that you need to hit with in order to get the kill off the top. A ton of things can be tweaked with Shulk because he's got so many things going for him. So many different things with the Monado arts, so it's kind of hard to say what would really be balanced and fair for the character without the context of the rest of the roster and what the mechanics of the game are. So he's a unique little flower in that regard, but obviously less landing lag on the aerials is a big one. Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario is pretty good, honestly. Mario is just better, so there's no real reason to play Doc given their strengths and weaknesses. His fare isn't necessarily better, but it has more utility out of it because you don't need to, you know, sweet spot spike to get some use. It's got more knockback and, and stuff, so you can use it more often. Down special is uh, arguably better than flood. His recovery is bad. Yes, you heard me. It's bad. Fight me, Doc fanboys. His recovery is not as good as most others in the game. Accept it, please. You need to. So yeah, he offers a different playstyle to Mario, but he's not in need of help, considering regular Mario is there, and they're kind of the same guy, so yeah. Dark Pit. He has all the faults of regular Pit that I mentioned previously, but a worse side tilt and a side special that'll kill sooner when you're not in center stage or on top of a platform, because it kills from the side instead of the top. So that's a fair uh, difference there. So if, if we want to keep him and give him the same uh, moves, then give him the same changes that I mentioned for Pit. Uh, should we, or if we make him more unique, you know, make him use like his Dark Pit staff outside of his final smash animation or victory pose. So Luigi Luigi-ficate him if you must, but if not, then all the same changes to Pit, in which case Pit will still be the best outside of doubles sometimes. Anyway, Lucina. My waifu, and most likely my main in Smash 4 if I had to say I have one. She's about as good as Marth, so not many changes needed like him. Uh, just give her, just like him, a, a three-frame spike instead of the one, and don't require a tipper because that's not her thing. Her sword should be as long as Marth's. I think that's fair because she doesn't have the tipper mechanic, but she has the consistency throughout the entirety of her blade. It should be the same size, so the same hitboxes. But if you want to Luigi-ficate her away from Marth in the next one, assuming she is in the next one, which she very may well why not, not be, you could make her more like she is in the game, meaning she can't have counter because that is a male exclusive move in Fire Emblem, and she'd most definitely inherit Aether from her father Krom, although I'd much rather have an up special like Marth's than Ike's, if I'm being honest, because Marth's is just way better in every way. Um, but let's not make her super duper different from Marth, because after all, she is supposed to be initially posing as Marth. And while we're on the subject, give her the masked and short hair version as a skin, because she's super cute in that too. Anyway, Pac-Man, he's pretty decent, honestly. Uh, I know he's not used much in the competitive scene. Uh, you saw Abadongo when the game first came out, and that was about it. But, you know, if we keep the moveset that he has now, I can't say there's anything in dire need of fixing outside of his grab, which is just too slow and have those weird active and inactive frames on the grab. So just give him a real grab. You can use a similar animation. Just give Pac-Man a, a real grab. Mega Man. Mega Man, I personally think, has the most unique play style in all of Smash 4, in that he plays more differently than anyone else. A lot of it due to the part that three of his moves are lemons. I don't know if Mega Man players want that to change, honestly. It's weird, yes, but they make it work. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like you, yeah, they could be better, but I really no, wouldn't know what. Uh, but, you know, Mega Man has a lot of powers at his disposal with like a dozen games to choose from. All the, all the masters, but Mega Man has a very high skill floor to start playing him well, but his ceiling isn't super duper high. I know Kameme, or Kamemushi as he was known at the time, made it to Evo Grand Finals against Ally, but after a couple of tournaments, his Mega Man wasn't an issue for players anymore, and he mostly moved on from Mega Man, leaving Scat as the mega -ist of men, but he was just a young boy. So Mega Man is weird and not terrible, but I think Leaf Shield only really has a couple of uses, getting a grab or tossing it maybe, but it doesn't seem like it have a really good uses. Uh, so 
he makes sense as he plays like Mega Man does in his games with all the lemons and stuff. None of the customs seem to have done him any favors in the game, so I can't suggest to use one of those outside of the the ones that he's given uh, by default. So I guess he's okay where he is, but if you want to give him different uh, masters special abilities, it would definitely change him up a bit. And I think that's okay because he was never really great and difficult to play. So other than that, where he is in Smash 4, he's he's pretty okay. So that's, uh, that's really all I can say in that matter. Anyways, thank you all for watching this fifth part video. I'll be back with one more to cover up the rest of the roster. Let me know what you guys think about any of the characters that I mentioned in this video. Catch the other episodes if you have not, and I'll see you all next time.